Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha! Today, got a very special video for you. This is the Power Rangers movie Power Morpher. This is it. This is the morpher for the brand new upcoming Power Rangers movie. This item is not supposed to be out yet, but my local Toys R Us put out the toy early, and so I have it here to review for you all, which is really exciting. So this is it, guys. This is one of the first movie merchandise that we have. And so this is the style packaging that they're going with. Uh, as you can see, I got this at my local Toys R Us. You have the Power Rangers movie logo right there, Power Morpher with Power Coins, the Red Ranger from the movie right there. Um, it does have all five Power Coins right here, which we'll take a look at. Morphing Grid lights and sounds. So that's pretty cool. There's a Try Me mode. Does it just keep going? Oh, I guess so. That's really interesting. So that was kind of cool. Uh, so we'll take a look at that and see, you know, the full full stuff that it does and everything. Um, there's the movie Red Ranger on the sides. It's a shame they only have the Red Ranger, not all the others on the on the packaging. But anyways, morph into a Power Ranger, slide lever to activate morph and grid lights and sound. Tyrannosaurus Rex, Mastodon, Triceratops, Saber Two Tiger, Pterodactyl. You know the drill. There it is, right there. So. Without further ado, I'm really excited for this. Let's get this open and take a look. All right, here we have the Power Rangers Movie Morpher out of the packaging. Just an FYI, the little uh, T-Rex thing right there was just kind of a little placeholder sticker. Uh, so you can just kind of take that off and then obviously you have the, the main power coins. So this is it. Um, somewhat similar to the original Morpher design and in, in kind of the sh vague shape and then you have the fact that you have power coins. But otherwise, it's kind of different too. So I will do a comparison a little bit later in this video with the Legacy Power Morpher, so you can see that. But real quick, I just want to show you the power coins up close. Uh, so this is the Tyrannosaurus Rex power coin right here for the Red Ranger. Um, if you can't tell already, the uh, dinosaurs are a little harder to see. Now when you put it in the Morpher, it lights up and then you can really see it. Um, but They've, they've really gone with a different design where it's kind of a little more covered up uh, and you got this weird like, I don't know how to describe it, this this little textured design on top of the coin which is which is kind of interesting. So uh, definitely an interesting design choice but that's the look that they're going for with these power coins. Um, so that's the T-Rex. Now we have right here uh, the saber tooth tiger. So a little hard to see but there's the fangs right there, the eye. You can see it's like right there. There's from the opposite side. So, uh, you know, I'm a little iffy. Honestly, on this whole Morpher design, I'm, I'm a little iffy on, on, on what they've, they've gone with. It actually looks pretty cool. I'll show you in a second when we light it up and everything. Um, but the design overall, I'm a little iffy on. I, I think it, it blends well with the suit designs, but as, as a you know, display piece, just like as, as a toy, it's, it's a little bland. But... Regardless, uh, here's the Triceratops. So, um, as you can see, similar texture design for all of these coins. Um, and then, there it is. The Mastodon right there. Okay, pretty cool. So, then of course we have the Morpher itself, right? So this is the Morpher. Uh, it's a decent size. Um, it does have a belt buckle on the back. Uh, very basic design, as you can see. All one color. Uh, very low key compared to the, the regular Power Morpher. So that is certainly kind of a downgrade in my opinion. Uh, but it does look more alien-esque and it kind of fits in with the suit design. So that is certainly interesting. Uh, but it does have the belt clip right there. And essentially there's an on-off switch here. And this is where you put in the power coins. And you do this and it closes up and lights up and does all sorts of fun stuff. So that's basically the feature of the Morpher. So if I turn this on, you see the LEDs right there. And you see when I do that, it does a really cool spinning effect and that looks really neat with the power coin in there. Uh, and it is pretty loud too. So I'm gonna turn that off for a second while I talk, but um, that is super cool um, with the power coin in it. So while the design overall of the Morpher is not so great, 
with the coins, I think it looks pretty cool. So let's just do that. Let's just jump right to it. So we'll start with the the T-Rex. I'm gonna turn this on here. And I got the T-Rex just like this. So I'm just gonna click it right in. And it lit up. And it starts going and going and going until you flip it. So let's do it. Do you see how it lit up like that? That was pretty cool. I'll do it one more time. So that is that. Pretty cool. Um, now to take it out, you just kind of, it has to be open a little bit so you can fit your finger in the little tab and just pop it out just like that. So very easy to put in and take out just like that. Um, so yeah, the, the one downside though is that is the only sounds that it makes. There's no unique sounds with each coin, anything like that. Uh, then again, the Power Morpher is the same way, so that's no different, but it would have been kind of cool to have some extra features there. So, I just want to show you uh, the other coins as well, just to see what those look like in the Morpher. Whoops. Uh, make sure I got it like right side up so you can see the dinosaur properly. Uh, there we go. Okay, ready? There's the pterodactyl. You really can't even see the pterodactyl. So that one's kind of eh. It doesn't really, didn't really turn out too well. Um, but the T-Rex looked pretty cool. Uh, here's the Triceratops. Let's do that one. You can kind of see it there. If you look closely, you can kind of see it. All right, now Sabertooth Tiger. Uh, it really is hard to see with the LEDs. I mean, it's kind of neat to have the spinning design, but I wish the dinosaurs would be a little more prominent so you can kind of see it more clearly. Um, here's the Mastodon. Oops. I'm trying to get it right side up. It's hard to like even see if it's in the right way or not just to be able to... I mean, not that it matters, but just to see the effect more clearly. All right, I think this is a Mastodon. You can kind of see that one. So anyway, so I think the one that kind of turned out the best is the T-Rex in my opinion. When you put that in, you can really see it there. So I think that looks pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna turn this off because it's kind of loud and obnoxious. Um, but that is it. That is basically the Legacy Power, or not the Legacy Power Morpher, sorry, the Power Rangers Movie Morpher right there. Just an FYI, if you had the Comic-Con exclusive Movie Red Ranger Legacy figure, it came with a T-Rex coin which is the same coin that comes with the Movie Morpher. So you already have uh, the T-Rex coin with this, um, you know, not that it matters because you already have the T-Rex coins and now you just have a second one, but it's the exact same thing. So just an FYI in case you're curious about that. But the other thing that I think is kind of cool and it's a little unintentional. So Saban Brands and Lionsgate, so um, especially Lionsgate, thank you to them. They sent uh, me, since I'm one of the Power Force members, a little package and they sent this little, um, this little baggie and stuff and inside was a power coin for the pterodactyl right here. Um, so this is it right here. As you can see, it's much larger than this pterodactyl power coin. But I was like, what if it fits into here? And while this piece is open, because you see how it closes, right? But if it's open like this, it kind of sits, like it doesn't sit in, it'll fall out. But if you kind of hold it there, it sort of fits the shape. And if I turn on the lights, it actually lights up and looks pretty cool. Look at that. So, I actually kind of like this a little bit better than the actual power coin. Now, if only this actually fit into here, that would be perfect. Um, but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like that it does. But that would have been, that would have been perfect. <laughs> Missed opportunity there. But if you happen to have one of these, I, I don't know if they gave these away at any Comic Cons or something, but if you happen to have these versions of Power Coins, I think that looks pretty cool with the Morpher. But regardless, you know, it's it's a neat little toy. It's, it's you know, one of the, the main parts of the toy line, obviously, with the Morpher. The Power Coins themselves are okay, you know, but I think the light effect looks kind of neat with them in it, uh, at least for some of the coins. So it's a little hit or miss if you're gonna enjoy it or not, but that is what it is. For comparison's sake, I do have to bring in, let me put in the T-Rex um, right in there. So for comparison's sake, the Legacy Power Morpher, I mean, 
Maybe it's the nostalgia in me speaking, but it just doesn't compare. This just looks so much more unique and special, and the T-Rex is so prominent. Power Rangers, boom, it's shiny and flashy and, and, and pretty cool. This just doesn't... It's so bland. Now, you turn on the lights, and it's kind of cool, you know, and it adds a little spinning effect and all that. That's great. But just as an overall design, I'm a little iffy on it. So it's, it's, it's a fun little toy. It's just the design of it overall I'm a little iffy on. But anyways, I just wanted to give you that little comparison. So um, that is it, guys. If you are interested, this will be popping up in stores very shortly. So definitely check that out. This is uh, from the upcoming Power Rangers movie coming out in March, which I'm really excited about. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video if you enjoyed it. Got lots more Power Rangers reviews on the way. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you later. All right guys, so just wanted to show you as well, this does feel, uh, fit on a belt buckle and it blends in pretty nicely, so that's kind of neat. Um, the design is not, you know, the most interesting, but it, it does blend in pretty nicely. And, you know, if I turn this on, that's kind of cool to do. Um, so again, I think this toy, the design of it may not be so great, but the overall, you know, fun factor of it, I think kids will love it. I think it, the lights and stuff look really cool and I think it'll be, um, a pretty cool addition to a toy line, so definitely uh, worth at least looking into. And, and uh, looks kind of neat on the belt buckle there. It blends in pretty nicely uh, compared to the other morphers. So that's that, guys. Uh, if you like this video again, please share it. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below, and I will see you later.